we can often compare ourselves at least i find myself doing this quite a lot compare ourselves to people who are doing a lot better than us either people online or in our real lives we look around and we're like oh my gosh they have so much more than me they're doing better than me at this age they had all of this they're younger than me and they have this right it's very easy to fall into that comparison trap but i wanted to make this video to show you're probably doing better than you think because we can so often focus on that comparison or focus on the negatives when really there are so many positives or things that we've built that now we take for granted right the same way that you probably hopefully now know how to read at one point that was probably something that required quite a lot of concentration and effort from you as a child and now we can take that for granted because it's just a skill that you have and you know how to do that right and i think the same thing can happen with anything now that we're dealing with and we don't always notice that we're handling things better than before so as i realized that i today am a thousand days sober I thought it was a good time to make this video reflecting on things that we might take for granted and how you're probably doing better than you think. <laughs> it's really easy to forget how bad things were or how far you've come because you still have so much to deal with, right? I think maybe I think that there's a point that you reach where you're like healed, you're better now and it's all good. <laughs> and so because I'm still on that path, it can then feel like I'm a failure or because I haven't got somewhere yet, I'm like, oh, well, I'm not good enough or whatever. But it's like, that's the trap, isn't it? Like you never actually get to a point where you are, at least I think this, <laughs> where you are like healed. Like those things might crop up later on. You might think, oh, I've sorted this now. But then in times of stress or someone says something and similar behaviors come back and you're like, oh, I thought I dealt with that, right? Like we can think we've solved something or we fixed it. And it's like, no, that thing can still come back. If I have that mindset of like, I should be better or I should be fixed or I should be healed now, but I'm not then I feel bad. But it's like, that is a lie anyway. Like you're never gonna get to that point of like, I am completely healed and this thing will never affect me ever again. <laughs> you're actually doing better than you think because you may be expecting to be at the end point of like, I am healed, it's all good now. But it's like, no, look at where you are now versus where you used to be. That is your progress. It's not like if you are at some imaginary point where you're like, oh, that would be amazing. It's like, no, look back at where you used to be. Even if you feel like you're not where you wanted to be, at this point look back and you'll see oh <laughs> i am doing better than i thought because when i left rehab i 1 million percent would not have said i'd be able to do this and be sober for a thousand days in a row that was impossible i didn't think i would manage like a week to be honest you know but just taking it one day at a time you can do more than you think <laughs> that i guess could have been an alternate title to this video but i think we underestimate how much you can achieve if you just do a little bit every day now clearly like on some days sobriety has involved a lot of work and a lot of mental energy and effort other days though it hasn't doing something every day and not being worried about the result like the result is in the doing right like me just being sober for the day that's enough like i don't have to worry about oh my gosh how am i gonna cope with whatever party or these people are drinking how am i gonna deal with that it's like we just deal with the situation as it comes because some days I can go to a big family event, for example, and people are drinking and it doesn't affect me at all. And other days I'm like, I would rather steer clear of that actually. Like I don't, I don't need that. It really is a day by day thing because I don't know how I'm going to feel. You know, I might be like, I really hope I can go to that person's birthday party. Maybe I'll say yes, but I don't actually know. And if I'm in a weird headspace, I might just say, you know what? I don't think I'll be able to deal with that. You know, people understand or they don't. And it's not my job <laughs> to over explain or justify myself you know i'm sure if they do care about me or love me in any way then they do understand and they will be like yeah okay i trust that she can make the best decision for her it's not like oh you went to this thing why didn't you go to this thing those were two separate events <laughs> they were two separate days <laughs> i was in two very different states of mind but just taking it one day at a time stacking those things we can think we have to get everything all done in one go like if you think about other goals that you're trying to achieve you're like oh yeah i want to walk like 10,000 steps or i want to run a 5k today and it's like actually you might find it more beneficial to walk 3,000 steps for a week instead of trying to do 10,000 all in one day or try and run one kilometer every day for five days instead of doing one 5k right like it's very easy to fall into the trap of thinking like I must go 100% of this thing otherwise I'm a failure but it's like no even just you showing up even if you, you can't run 1k but you just run five minutes straight without stopping or you run like once around your neighborhood even if you stop a few times like if that's more than you did yesterday that is good <laughs> like you've made progress there it's not about like oh I wasn't able to reach this imaginary goal it's like I did what I could and I showed up every day like that's more important than doing the best or like being the best at a thing it's like can you actually show up 
and be consistent like this is why people always talk about consistency yes consistent energy is important but i think just showing up in itself that is a kind of consistency it's not like i must be consistent by showing up as my best self every single time i show up to do this thing whether you want to do yoga every day or go for a run every day or whatever if one day you can only handle a five minute run fine like you still did it like you still showed up you're doing better than you realize basically i think we can just have these like really high expectations of ourselves or these really high standards and it's like actually take a step back from your goals or what you wish you could achieve it's good to have those things but like for a second take a step back and be like okay but what have i achieved like I, it's probably more than you realize and it will be in the things that have become a part of your daily routine that you have taken for granted or even in terms of like emotional things I can look at different situations and be like oh I would have handled that situation a lot differently six months ago but now I just sort of I'm like oh okay I'm less reactive or I'm more mindful of my emotions so I don't get carried away with my emotions in the same way again I think that's something that ebbs and flows and it's not like it's not like a straight line up or for you <laughs> is this the right way <laughs> it's more sort of like you know all over the place but the general trend is going up that way so it's not like i don't struggle with things anymore but i know they say like the opposite of addiction is connection and i have tried to find some sober friends and i have been successful in the last couple years but <laughs> at the moment as it stands not really <laughs> and that's disappointing and it's easy to get wrapped up in the current moment and be like this is how it's always going to be i'm really sad or i wish things were different but it's like you know things do change and i know there are plenty of people out there but it's just unfortunately the experiences that i've had have left me feeling quite cynical um about certain members of like the sober community i guess <laughs> it's so ridiculous because i don't feel like i can talk about it <laughs> online like it's there are some things i'm like why am i putting like these rules on myself or these limits on myself i don't know it's times like this where i'm like oh if i had like a patreon then i feel comfortable talking about it on there you know where it's like just a small community it's not just like out on the internet for everyone to see right there are things i would want to say and certainly if i was viewing this as like a, a document just for me to be like hey checking in this is a thousand days sober well done me like there are definitely things i would be more far more candid about this isn't the right forum to do that that aspect has been quite difficult i mean it's one thing to think like oh we have this thing in common like in terms of meeting other sober people like that is a big thing to have in common and to have overcome or to be like constantly aware of that darkness within you and just be like chipping away at it or like standing up to it every day it is a really big thing and i think that can create some quite powerful bonds but at the end of the day other sober people they are still people right there's still going to be like jealousy or there's going to be people being flaky or being really judgmental you would hope that there wasn't but again we're all just people <laughs> that's been quite surreal and it's also in terms of the thing of like i don't feel able to talk about it or whatever it's like i don't even feel qualified to make a video about this i'm not really sure why i guess maybe because i'm like oh i went to rehab so like me being sober doesn't count then because i didn't get sober by myself but it's like i've stayed sober since then but also because i had an alcohol problem it feels different than like those health influencers who are like oh yes i'm now four months sober and whatever and i'm like oh that's so amazing good for them but i don't feel like I can talk about it in the same way because they're just doing it for like health reasons and I'm like oh I'm doing this so that I don't die like <laughs> it's it feels like on a different level so it's like it's this weird mix of I simultaneously feel like I have too much to say about it or I'm like too qualified and also like nowhere near qualified enough or nowhere near like my opinion does not matter at all on the subject it's just such a weird headspace to be in but I keep reminding myself of just how bad it was and this is where it's like you're doing better than you realize <laughs> there are so many things now that i take for granted or I, I try not to take them for granted this is why i keep doing my gratitude list and why i keep if you've watched my videos before i talk a lot about journaling or just doing a gratitude list because it is so important and so life-changing to just do this one small thing to remind yourself if you are someone who like gets caught up in the moment you forget how far you've come from who you used to be start doing a gratitude list and writing down the really mundane things so like for me things that i can do now that i wasn't able to do before i can brush my teeth every day and floss every day and i have the energy and inclination to do that i can shower most days like i care about wearing jewelry or wearing perfume not just to like cover up the, sm the smell of any potential alcohol right like i care about the way i look i'm more interested in fashion whereas before i would literally just be wearing leggings or pajamas right like i really didn't care i sleep so much better now i don't have the same kind of bad dreams that i used to have like there is so so much that i can do now that i couldn't do when i was still drinking even like having a youtube channel I started this when I was six months sober, I guess. Eight months sober? Because I was like, oh, I have more energy now. I want to like learn a new skill, try something new, right? Like 
I just felt really inclined to start a YouTube channel and I have done that and I'm I'm really happy with it and I've reached my watch hours requirement. Hopefully by the time this video goes out, you will have seen an advert on it, which means that <laughs> it's been officially monetized. That's been a milestone that I've been wanting to hit. That as well, I'm like, I don't even feel qualified to talk about like how to grow a YouTube channel because it's like, it ha it's happened so slowly for me because at the beginning I was just like teaching myself how to do everything and it wasn't really about like being the best or like attracting an audience, getting a viral video. Like it was never about that. It was just like, oh, I want to try and make a vlog. Okay, I did that. Let me try and do something else because everything was so new. And now I've done, I don't know, 180 videos or something. I have a playlist of, of every single video. So I have done a playlist of every single video. Every time I make a new video, I add it to that playlist. But like, I never would have been able to have the energy or like even care about a project like this, like my YouTube channel when I was still drinking. Even just like things like making a phone call and not needing a drink. Like I needed a drink to literally do everything kind of I guess just an excuse to be able to drink but it was also like a way of surviving and of like coping and even just me being able to sit with my emotions now is such a win like I'm doing so much better than I realized because I used to drink to avoid doing that and so now anytime I'm able to actually feel a strong emotion and just be like yeah okay I feel sad right or I feel really angry or I feel really alone like anytime I can just sit with the feeling and I don't have to do anything about it I can just sit with it and yeah maybe I cry or whatever but I mean I'm not trying to run away and like the behaviors can definitely still come up in terms of like eating to avoid feeling or like emotional eating or like shopping to avoid feeling like the same behaviors that prompted me to be drinking can pop up in other ways which is why <laughs> you have to be like aware of this stuff because then one thing can lead to another thing right like you can end up with like a cross addiction or you start off doing one thing and then you're gambling and then you move back to drinking right like they're all connected the behavior is the way that you're managing your feelings and if one thing stops working or you go more and more extreme with one thing then you start turning back to maybe the original thing and it's like I don't want to do that <laughs> but you know life is full of all these really emotional difficult to deal with <laughs> things so that's why I have to like be grateful for every day and stay aware of these things and be like oh interesting okay I'm eating more or I'm eating more sugar or I'm not eating enough and like that's provoking certain feelings in me right like all of these things are related but just having that awareness even and caring about it just caring about things I mean clearly it's like a double-edged sword because some things are so painful and I'm like I wish I didn't care like I wish I didn't feel and that's equally a dangerous time because it's like then I can be wanting to escape or run away a thousand days yeah it's sad I, I don't know why I feel sad about it but I guess maybe it feels pathetic to like care about something like this it's clearly a really big achievement and I am proud of myself but I mean pathetic in terms of like having this condition to start with like having this as a disease I have to deal with it's like so many people view it as a moral failing or like something that's embarrassing and I definitely don't view it like that because I've lived it so I'm like I understand completely why this happened to me but I can understand if you're on the outside looking in you're like what why would she do that or like oh my gosh that's so embarrassing whatever I try not to absorb that because it's not the way I think about it at all it does sometimes make me feel like I can't celebrate or like I can't share like the the milestones that I've reached because I am like even every day like I know this is a big one because this is four figures and it's you know a thousand a round number but like every day is a milestone worth celebrating it feels sometimes and this is probably just me projecting it feels sometimes that people are just happy that I'm sober again but they don't want to hear about or they don't care about like how I got here right the quote of if you can't handle me at my worst you don't deserve me at my best and it feels like I'm now not at my best but you know I'm I'm better than I was but it's like people who were never there for me when I was really struggling now get to enjoy is the wrong word but now they get sober me and that's a much better person to be around and it just sometimes makes me sad because I'm like I feel I've worked so hard and it feels like I can't even acknowledge how far I've come with these people because they don't want to talk about it or I don't know it's not like I particularly want to talk about it either but it's just like it, it feels like I've come so far but I can't express it if you have a similar thing where you feel like you've made a lot of progress but you feel weird talking about it this video is for you <laughs> you are doing better than you realize and you deserve to be able to celebrate what matters to you with the people around you or to give it a moment and instead of like brushing it aside or being like yeah but it's not that important use this as an opportunity to be like no I am going to celebrate that thing even if that thing is like you had a shower today and you really struggle with executive function well done like that is a big thing and just because other people don't understand it that doesn't mean it's not something worth celebrating if you feel like you want to share whatever your win is you can comment below and we can all 
encourage each other. There were other things that I wanted to say in this video, but they're not occurring to me at the moment. I guess now I've done this clip, I've at least filmed something on the actual day. I wasn't really feeling it at the beginning, but it's good to have this as like a thing of, yes, I did it. And I actually recorded it on the day. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.